that's what TFG's been been demanding. Mm, but Mickey Curry, oh, who is he in fact? Because that I'm um, that. He's a Dennis, apparently. Oh, so Dennis, yeah, that's what people know him as, because they picked him up recently, and I actually heard a lot of people talking about Dennis, that he was supposed to be really good. Uh, should we call him Mickey or Dennis? I mean, I think most people know him as Dennis, I guess. Yeah, let's call him as Dennis. Okay, cool. So now, Glocks on AL, what what can they do with it? Oh, look at this, in the middle. Actually, ESC got three people there. Pronax, way from the back, two of his own people in front of him, still get the headshot onto Lord, and Mickey, or oh, Dennis, actually taking down Neo. And look, he's just looking for blood. He wants Cuban. Cuban running furiously away. Man, how good is this Glock? It is so good. It's so offensive with it because it's so accurate. It's crazily accurate. It really is. And now they've actually flashed into the site. Cuban completely blind. Has to fall back quite a bit. Taz, he's coming. Oh, look, he's actually heard RDL there. Can he get him down? Yes, he will. Nice. Actually, great awareness from Taz. And he t picks up the Glock. See that? He wants that Glock, and I can't blame him. Pasha and Cuban, they're over here, but maybe they want to wait for Taz. One drop by Dennis. Can he get another one? No. Lydia is actually going to come in and take that out. So now Taz, the only one left. And he has got a Glock, but he's up against three people. Would definitely be incredibly impressive if what he could get them, but... Oh, look, this dick. They're just, uh... They're all around him, more or less. And there we go. Sneal with the final kill. So actually, almost everyone on AL got a, uh... A kill in then, and that's actually really good for a gun round because it means that you can uh, you can all buy maybe a bit a bit more expensive guns than you normally would. But it doesn't look like they want to. Sneal actually could buying is that like a an MP7 or nine? I can't remember what it is exactly. Certainly Dennis with the P90. I know you love that weapon, Albert. The ab the absolute uh, massive machine gun or submachine gun that is the P90. Which will just take out so many people if you get into the right position. ESC though, what are they doing? They've got four people on the B bomb side. I see a lot of teams trying that, but it just it's not always working. I mean it's like it should be working, but it isn't. Um uh, because people they don't tend to just walk in there. They wanna, you know they wanna make sure that that's not happening. And um I think it's sort of a strategy that needs maybe why I don't understand why people don't try and do it somewhere else, but not the B bomb side. Are hanging around at the A bomb site though, and there's just one ESC player over there. And see if we can find him. Taz, the only one completely alone here. And uh, and how patient are Asu Legend? They're really patient. They've got the SMGs, pretty offensive weapons. They're just waiting around. Yeah, but look at this. Sneal actually going to walk over there, and we're, we're told to try and spec him a bit, so we're just going to do that. He's fighting here with te technically four people, but he doesn't know it yet. And now he's forced back, and that's really nice, because if he had kept kept on being there, they would... Oh, look at this Taz with the first kill onto Dennis. Pronax taking him down, though, with the Bison. And that's going to make him plant. So, one for one right now, but... Um, Super fast rotation from ESC. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, RDL with a good kill on Pasha. Can he get another one? He sees Lord and will get him, yeah, and Sneal also will kill. Knows. Pasha has um, ESC in his name twice. Does he really? He oh, you're yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know, he's really dedicated. That's how much he wants to yeah. be on this team. Oh, Cuban with wow. a fantastic snipe on Sneal, taking him down, but I don't think... The problem is even to get these kills, they can't really secure the guns. I guess he could technically get that gun, but he doesn't know it yet. But it's always nice to get a submachine gun and then be able to use that in the next round. And look, he does actually get it. So not bad at all from uh, from Cuban there stealing that gun. And who's he gonna? Is he gonna? He's gonna keep it himself. Yeah, he will. All of them almost throwing away that that P2000 starting pistol on CT. Nobody wants to have that. And um, let's see if they're gonna do the exact same thing. Uh, Pasha actually a bit indecisive in the spawn. He doesn't know what they want to do. What are they doing over there? They're trying to boost people up into the tree. Look at this. Lord actually um, playing in the, the tree jungle. So <laughs> that's really funny. I hope that they end up going over there to, to spot that. Yeah, I mean, it may not look like the, the optimal position to, to stage an ambush, but um, it can work. Definitely, just just the, the idea of trying something new can uh, can definitely can definitely work. Yeah, I mean, when you've only got pistols, Stacking one bomb site can either really pay off, or it 
like you don't really get that much of a disadvantage because the pistols it doesn't defending a bomb site like when you're outnumbered is virtually impossible. Yeah. Yeah, you're right about that. And actually look at this. AL are they gonna go over there? That would be a, that would be critical if they actually went into the bomb site. So it looks like they are, look at this. They've not gathered any intel from the other bomb site. They're just basically doing this on a hunch and look at this Lord, he's up in the tree. But he can't see anything, the smoke Sneal is in there, but Oh, look at this Neo getting taken down from Dennis with actually just a Glock. And are they going to run back? Yeah, they're going to run. They're leaving Sneal there. So he's like there. Dennis is there as well. <laughs> oh, Lord, Pasha. he's standing up in the tree. He really wants to kill someone, but he can't see them because of the smoke. Oh, wait, they went back in. They're all in front of them. <laughs> they really and are. And they can't see him either. This is so funny. Yeah, I'm watching Lord Addy. I really right. can't believe he's so... Oh, no, he's dropped down. Oh, but they heard him land. That's fantastic, and Taz actually. <laughs> so they basically double faked that, and they actually faked it so much that even I, I didn't even catch it, um, in spite of the fact that I'm spectating. So they ran out, and I thought they were going to leave Sneal there, sort of um, a spade, but then they actually came all back in again. So um, nice from AL, and Taz was actually, you know, way behind. Oh, look at this Lord, not quite hitting those shots, and now Taz waiting by the truck. Can he get like? Even a single kill would be nice if he could, but nope. Dennis taking him out, and that's the th that's the uh, that's the third round coming in for Absolute Legends. But now ESC, they've got the rifles. So what can they do? I mean, this is really what they are, what they were bank you know banking on. Just wanna wanna get the most of it right now. I'm really curious, um, Absolute Legends, because none of them have died. Well, they've got five deaths between them. But they're actually choosing to keep all their SMGs, so they're up against M4s and they say, well, we'll just keep oh, these guns. Right. I mean, they're good guns, but you'd think they've got the money for AKs. Yeah, AKs look, aren't that big an investment, that, surely, surely it's worth it. Pronax was completely blind and actually taken down by Lord, and you're right. I mean, the thing is, if they win with, S with SMGs up against this, they'll have so much money, but Lord actually getting another kill and Taz getting one. So it is a gamble. A huge gamble actually coming in from AL. Look at this. Lida actually taking down one. Cuban. Oh no. Oh no, I thought uh, Lida was going to actually help out then, but Lord with the third kill of the round. And uh, they win the round, ESC. So, on the one hand, it means AL, they still have money to buy even though they lost that round, and they might even have money to buy for the next round if they just get a few kills. Look at this, Dennis. He bought and everything. Oh no, there we go. His money dropping down. I thought he was going to retain all that. How did he do that? Is that they did? Did they buy an AWP for RDL or something? Because he spent a lot of money then. I don't even think they did. I don't understand. No, they've all got AK. But yeah, they might still be able to buy maybe some Galils in the next round if they lose this one, which of course they're hoping not to do. They're going up the the middle and um, even got the bombs in that area. Lord, he's just uh, covering that apartment. Oh, that grenade! Is it going to hit anyone? No, not quite. One damage onto Pronax. But not that grenade, that landed right in his face, taking him down to half HP. And now Pasha actually might get caught out here. No, he gets one down and then RDL with two kills instantly. There's still someone in the pit. It's actually Lord in the pit, wow. taking down two people. Wow, and Cuban also with a kill. RDL, the only one left. What a great uh, turnaround from ESC. Yeah, definitely. Cuban coming in so strong. And um, and Lord just defending that pit. That was really, really nice. I'm sorry, guys. There's still a... um. There's still a little bit of lag on GoTV, there's nothing we can do about that, so um, hang in there, and hopefully it will go away soon. Um, I can try and do that, I don't think it works anymore. Someone said that uh, the update rates and so on don't do anything when you're spectating anymore. I guess that's only one way of finding out. Now we've got Galil's and make case on Absolute Legends, and uh, taking it much quicker this time, look at that. Pronax actually running into the boiler room from middle, that's strange. Now Dennis wants to make his way up those stairs, but Lord might be watching. He was last time, he's not this time. Who's in the apartments? Is anyone even there? No. Not a single um, ESC player watching the apartments at this moment. So they could actually make it quite far up there, and Pronax might have just found that out. Now Lord with a nice flash, but he gets taken out by Dennis. Good idea to counter flash, but not quite. Taz taking down one. 
gets flashed a little bit. Oh, actually, Pranax, look at that. Pranax in the pit shooting at uh, Taz, but not hitting him. Pasha taking down one. Nida coming in with a kill. Now Taz. Oh no, and he gets dropped. They're trading. They're completely even now. It's two for two. Nida coming in with a huge kill on Neo. That's so important. And now, Cuban, the last one left. Oh no, what wow, a what great a headshot. Great. Lida, he's all alone and he doesn't have the HP for it and Cuban taking him out. So Cuban coming in all the way from the B bomb site and he actually gets the two final kills in the pit. And I have to I have to say it was really unfortunate that they ended up going at him one one at a time. I mean they really, really could have uh could have done that a little bit better, I thought, but um Or maybe they just shouldn't have ended up in the pit, both of them. But that's always uh easier to say once the round is over. Cuban, really, really strong headshots coming in then. Now we've got Glock's pistols back on Absolute Legends, and um, they are good actually. Look at that Pasha dropping to 30 HP from two Glock shots. In the middle, what the hell? And he's definitely going to fall back from that. Yeah, doesn't want any more of that. This Glock, Albert. It is just what so can, good. What can you do against it? I don't know, I mean... Who knows? Now Lord in a really good position with the grenade, but actually, oh he's too, he's really getting, they're getting so low by these, RDL taking down one, can they get more Pronax with the kills, or Pasha still alive even though he got, he got so low early on, but now Neo and Cuban, they're coming in, Pasha is covering them, but Sneel might, really, might could really easily get him if he just, uh, if he's the first round around that corner, look at this, look how clever Sneel is hiding right here, and is he going to get him? Oh no, he knew that Neo was there. Sneal with really excellent um, map sense, but not quite enough. And look at this. Two of the ESC players, they're really low. Cuban, the only one with a lot of HP. Pronax, can he get him? What What was that? Cuban, was he disconnected? He's standing completely still, but at any rate, Neo, or, yeah, Neo actually coming in with the... with the kill on to him. Uh, had a momentary crash or something. Yeah, or maybe they were baiting him out. Maybe they thought if we leave, if we just leave Cuban here, he's gonna try and shoot him, and then Neo is gonna come in. So uh, I know probably not what happened, but anyway, <laughs> it is a fourth round for ESC. Absolute legend stuck with the three rounds that they got on pit on the pistol from the pistol round. So um, let's see if they can make an opening in now that they've got rifles again. Oh look at this, Dennis. He's up so close. Can he get Neo as well? Oh no, the <laughs> auto director ruining that. Pronax getting a kill, actually Neo, he's, he manages to fall back, I'm not really sure how he did that. And Taz with a kill too, RDL, they finally take out Neo over there. And um... But Pasha is also there, it's 2 on 2 now and they do have the HP advantage, but... But they even got a lot of time, they can actually, they can actually easily make their way into the A bomb site. Taz the only one standing in their way, and look at this, he's right up here, he's gonna catch... Oh no, Lida actually coming in, oh, I thought dear, he was Pasha. gonna catch... Yeah, Pasha now alone. Middle of nowhere. I definitely thought Taz was going to be able to get Sneal because he was looking the wrong way, but Lydic coming in at exactly the right time and uh, making sure that that doesn't happen, so not at all bad. Pasha, though, what's the economic? I'm just going to look at the scoreboard while we're waiting. Actually, not that much money on um, on ESC. If they lose, I mean, if he throws away that, that M4, there's no. He can't just buy a new one. And certainly not for the rest of his team either, so... I can definitely understand that he would want to save that, and he's doing it behind... Um... The weird pillar. In the second mid. So... A round for AL, even though it looked like, um... They were defending that B-bomb site quite nicely. They did make it a 2-on-2, two two and they managed to take advantage of that situation, so really well played. And, um... Any interesting weapons? I mean, this is uh, either of these teams. They, none of them they buy. They don't buy any AWPs on this map. People just don't. I don't understand. Yeah, it seems really unpopular. I think it, it it can definitely work, but they just don't. So um. But again, they probably know more about it than I do, and um, it I like, really see a lot of teams deciding against it. Although we have seen some incredible use of AWP. Was that Curse? I think it was. Alu on Curse, we think. We cast it on this map and he did it really well. Oh, look at this, coming to the middle. RDL actually facing up against so many people. Taz wow. and Pasha spraying down that that oncoming rush completely, Save shutting it, it down. Dreams, absolute legends. <laughs> Indeed. Pasha with a grenade as well, and now Lida, the only one left. 
Can he get a kill on Lord? Yes, he can. Is he gonna make it more? Nope. Taz, with the, with what, how many kills did he get then? Oh, two, and then they're free for Pasha. So, unbelievable defense there. That was really, that was really unfortunate that they managed to, they, I mean, they ran through the smoke and they flashed, but the flashes, I think, landed behind the ESC players, meaning that they could pretty much just spray them down as they came out through that smoke. So, not quite good enough. And now I'm no, wondering. Just blocks. You're right, just blocks. Crazy rush at middle. Pronax is really low. Oh, grenades coming in, but they're not quite hitting. And actually, look at this. It looks, I mean, maybe ESC they're just being careful, but it actually looks like they're afraid to gun it out with the, with the might of the Glocks <laughs> at that range. Even though they've got AKs and M4s, they don't want to try and get headshot by that, that nasty weapon. And AL, in the meantime, they've decided to make their way over to the B bomb side, and Cuban is ready. Can they get him down? Actually, Neo and Cuban wow. spraying down the whole team. Neo, Litter. He's gonna finish off Litter. Oh, it's a oh with a knife! Fantastic! Four kills for Neo. That was uh, brilliant. Excellent, excellent um, defense off that bomb site. And even with a knife kill in the end, why not? Because um, because that's so funny. And that it can actually, I mean, how much money do you get from a knife kill? Maybe someone in the chat. Is it 1,500? Yeah. Oh. Oh, so it actually isn't, I mean, it's not even, you know, just to, to troll people or to yeah, make them really feel badly. Doing. Yeah, it really is worth doing if you can do it, and he could do it. So, um, so really well played. Six rounds for ESC, four for Absolute Legends. Neo completely flashed over here, and oh, some lag on GoTV, but he will get a kill. Hasha also with a kill, and Sneel trying to fight it out, but he actually gets shot in the face for his efforts, so... It is a 3 on 4 situation, but Sneel, he's just so low, I don't know, it's going to be really, they really need to get a perfect opening into either of the sites to make this work. And at the same time, Neo, he, look how aggressive he is, he's actually walking up to pick up grenades to throw them at the AL. Really angry. Wow, Taz completely blinded them, but actually not for long enough, he manages to trade evenly, even though he was in a quite bad situation then. And now Pronax, can he get the kill onto Cuban? Gets the kill, but then Neo's coming right in. And Lord also gets the kill on Sneal, who was so low. So, ESC looking strong, I think. I mean, this is, a, this is a good defense coming in from them. Absolute legends, they won the gun round, and that secured them three more rounds, or two more rounds. And then they only took one round after that with rifles. So, um, yeah, ESC on Inferno, not but looking bad at all, I think. If they can keep this up, then they'll, they're definitely. It's definitely going to be tough on AL to try and make it all the way back. And now. They're back on the Glocks because they wow. lost that round. That frag grenade! 150 damage, but Zeal, he says whatever, man. Yeah, look, Zeal, he's so health. angry. Oh, actually. <laughs> it's actually comes in from the back. They get that Cuban, finally. Three kills. Oh, he's brought down. No, not enough. But still, impressive round. I mean, look at that. They actually took down three people in a pistol round, so that's not bad. And almost everyone on AL got uh, got a kill too, so they got some more money for the whole team. And I guess that is essentially what you want to do in a gun round if you can't win it, which is obviously uh, the nicest thing to have happened. But, oh, that smoke going over. Where is it going to land? I wonder. Is it going to land all the way in the middle here? Yeah, look at that. Actually smoking from the very spawn and uh, making sure that if, if there was an aggressive AL player with any WP or anything like that, then they couldn't really do that in the middle. So well played. Pasha throwing a grenade down there and actually hitting um, a little bit with it. So, I mean, that they are four rounds behind, but if they can take the last three rounds absolute legends, it's still going to be... Oh, what? Lord, how, how would he get all the way up there? Did you see that? He was all the way up in the terrorist department, uh, and he got... I love being so aggressive down there, it's so good. Maybe there's one person down there, but there's never more than one. And as long as you're quick with a shot, you can get a massive runners for your team. Yeah, and literally he was even up on like, uh, you know, up on a light post or something, yeah, and he yeah. still got them. Unbelievable play from Lord, such such nice play. And um, two more kills coming in after that. Now actually, Lord, he was semi-flashed, and he still got the kill on Pronax. Lord been coming in really strong. It's really impressive. Now Dennis, the last one left, and he gets dropped by Neo. Nine rounds for ESC and Absolute Legends. They need to take the last two rounds, I think, to really be uh, to really be looking good in this.
Do you think they can oh, do it, Albert? I mean, ESC, they seem to really be... I mean, they uh, lost yeah, V, but now they're... they affected everything, haven't they? Yeah, they really, I mean... They're playing really varied as well. Lord, he's sometimes in the apartment, but sometimes he's down in the, um... In the patio, what's it called? Like, the, the hut area? The tiny hut that's in... I don't know what it's called. That's bad, I should know that. What's it called? I guess we can find out. Sorry about that. Fair enough. And now Lord he's up in the apartments, this time more defensive, just waiting to see if anyone will walk through the smoke. Ale there, oh look at that, getting the headshot quickly onto Dennis, and then drop falling back, but actually, can he get prone action? Nope. This time they take him out, and that's mid that's gonna be the the queue for Ale to go. Look at this Pasha actually. Oh what? He misses RDL. Get some I'm damage in flash, Taz. Taz is completely blinded, yeah. But he and still takes down Prola. Oh yeah, that was just a bit of hesitation and that was actually the death of them. And now Sneal, the last one left, won't get Pasha down. And um while well, that looked like it could have been a really close round, you're right, that was a perfect flash on the Taz, but he wasn't killed in the those, you know, two or three seconds when he was flashed. He managed to stay alive and that actually that actually probably made a huge difference because if they could have gotten him they would have secured the pit and um, with one person in there and that's always such an essential uh, part of this map I find. If you can get terrorists into the pit here you can pretty much cover you know incoming um, the incoming reinforcements from the V bomb site at least in one direction and that makes a difference. Now flashing, wow Pash has so flashed, Ale they certainly know how to throw these flashes but Lord taking down Pronax anyway, he ran for the smoke and hoped that he could get the kill but not quite. Now Taz flashing over, I think he was actually meant for uh, for Pasha to walk out of there, look at this, flashing over and then Pasha is going to look out as soon as the flash goes off. But later he wasn't flashed because he was actually around the corner so well played. He probably heard the flash and thought, okay, someone's going to peek out now, but I'm not flashed. So, um, yeah, Lida coming in with a really important kill onto Pasha. Now they're just kind of slowing down Ale. They're walking over to Banana. Neo with a fantastic, oh my god, perfectly timed flash from Neo. Pretty sure Dennis was blind then, and actually now just taking down two people. Sneal will get him down, but then Cuban is still in the sight, and Lida is all alone. Even reinforcements coming in from behind him. And that will be the death. And Cuban with dual Berettas as well. So that's it. 11 rounds for ESC in the first half. And 4 for Absolute Legends. Everyone readying up quickly. And uh, definitely looks like that. Um, looks like that um, ESC. They're just doing really well on this map. So what do you guys think? In the chat. How many people think that AL, they're going to be able to fight back on this? Or do you think that uh, ESC they'll play the terrorist side as well as they did the counter terrorist side? I am intrigued. And what about you, Albert? I tell you what, Absolute Legends, they've got a really big challenge because they virtually have to win the pistol round. If they don't win the pistol round, ESC will be so much closer um, yeah. to, to taking this map. It'll be even almost impossible to come back. Yeah, you're right. That's my prediction. I think you're absolutely right. Some people voting in the chat. I wish we had a vote function. I've actually been looking for a plugin that could actually do that. That's something that we should get up and running because, uh, you know, that would be fun to let people vote. Um, but people, anyway, voting ESC. TFG lead saying that he's still believing in AL, and that's always good. If you like a team, there's no reason to give up on them just because they're doing badly. All teams have bad days, and um, and I don't know, Albert. I mean, you follow sports, don't you? You follow football and stuff, don't you, Albert? Yeah. yeah. So don't, wouldn't you say, I mean, as a, as a supporter or as a fan of any like given club, it's important to stick with them, even if they're not, you know, riding the high? Well, for sure. Yeah. I, I definitely think that's I'm true. I'm going to be an FM Toxic fan till I die. Oh, you're going to be an FM Toxic fan. <laughs> so tell me, when you meet them on LAN, I mean, I assume you're going to meet them when you go to I-48? Probably, but um, I might be too nervous. You might, might be too nervous. To, uh, play StarCraft and forget about Camus Trope for a weekend. Oh, but no, I forget, I'll, I'll make a fool of myself. You need to have like a, like a sign, like a laminated sign that says like <laughs> podcast on it, and then you go and interview them. You say, "Yeah, we're representing the the podcast studio, and we just want to get your opinions on various things." And then you can get their autographs as well. You should do that. And actually, I think are we a go now? Can you tell me? Yes, it looks like it. 
we've got the restarts in and um so welcome to all of you who have been joining us since we started this is uh absolute legends against esc IC box and um it is the esca invite season 13 and we've got uh we've got these teams on inferno absolute legends now playing counter terrorist because this is the second half and they've got a bit of a mountain to climb if they want to beat ESC, who have been looking really strong. Oh, what? Taz with a fantastic kill onto yeah, Snail in the middle. God. He was running and shooting, strafe shooting. If you try and if you try and teach people this game, this is what you say they shouldn't do. You say just don't run and shoot. You know, do like quick side steps and take you know burst fire, you know slow bullets and so on. Not nothing crazy like that. But um, unaffected by. By those kind of advice, is uh, is ESC with the Glock? It's such such a powerful weapon. And now Lord actually jumping in. Look at this prone action, a great position. Lord getting taken almost down, and Dennis is there too, fighting it out with Taz. Can he do it? They do get some damage on them, and actually Dennis also dropping a bit low, but not bad defense from uh, Al. Then I thought. Now they just have to make sure that their rotation is coming in quickly. RDL, he's needed over here. Neo taking down Dennis, and can Lida actually? No, they can't. Look at this, Neo with another kill. And Pasha finally finishing on Pro Dash, and now RDL, the only one left. He's flashing, look how he. Oh wow, the dedication coming in there. He gets <laughs> Cuban down, that was actually impressive. Not taking it slow, you just thought, okay, if I'm gonna do this, it's gotta be, you know, full action mode, and he tried, to, he definitely tried to do that. So, um, gotta respect the effort from RDL, but he had no choice really. There was like four people left alive, and that was always gonna be really difficult. <laughs> Oh, look at this people in the chat saying, <laughs> I like that comment, one word, Glock, pretty much, pretty much, Glock is just really strong, and now we've got a lot of submachine guns on ESC, and wow, absolute legends, do you think they're going to do something in the third round, which is the next one after this, do you think they're going to go with Mag 7s and stuff to try and, and oh, pull I an upset? I love Mag 7s, and they can wow. do such crazy things, oh, yeah. but you can't be at P90, P90 is so good. Yeah, they had they had flashes flash so well. I have to say this for AL, their flashes have been unbelievable. Every time I've seen AL flash, it's like they just you know get the maximum duration out of that flash, and it's impressive. But they don't get the kills when they flash the people. That that's that's the unfortunate thing. Lord now sneaking in, gonna find Lida, and actually gonna die to Lida. So now they can maybe get Taz in a really nice uh, position here. He actually takes down one. Oh, and Neo. He's coming in to clean up the pit. And there we go, taking down Dennis and Taz with the final kill, making it another round. They even plant the bomb just for good measure. They are terrorists after all. Um, so yeah, 13 rounds, meaning two more rounds, well, three more rounds for them, and they will have won it. And look at this AL, they're not going in, they're not doing anything silly, they're not buying those Max 7s or anything like that. They want to they wanna keep it cool all the way to the end, and that means that they're basically banking on on taking, you know, a you know, huge number of rounds yeah, in a row. Massive sweep. So that's really nice. I mean maybe they can do it. You know, a really good counter terrorist defense. We saw ESC, their defense was virtually impenetrable. Yeah, yeah. They only yeah. lost one round. Yeah, I think it can be done and I think AL can do it. I think they're a good enough team to do it. Actually Sneel taking down Pasha with a fantastic headshot over the B bomb side, but he is yeah, that's all a alone. Great start. He's falling back behind the coils and now the ESC team, they're just making their way in there, and AL a bit undecisive, but they do just have a pistol, so it's, it is difficult to know exactly how you play this best. Lord, really in a nice position to um, to cover from that position. No one coming in from those ruins, and now Dennis, he's waiting outside here, hoping to get some exit frags, and maybe... Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe even an AK or something like that, but I don't think it's going to happen. I bet ESC, they're not going to send just one person banana. There we go, Neo finding him. So, 14 rounds now, two more for ESC and they get the victory, but now this is the fourth round in the second half, and absolute legends, they have rifles now, so let's see what they can do, and I'm, no, just all M4s. I was really hoping one of them would go for like an AWP in the middle, and uh, and just and just uh, try and get there really quickly, and then get the kill off. It's such a nice way to start a, uh, a round. But, not quite happening. On the other hand, let's see what they can do now that they have these M4s. Lid and RDL pushed up actually a bit, but look at this Cuban actually. I think he flashed them over there. 
because they kind of they kind of halted for a bit. Nice, a nice fire coming in here. I think no, it's not actually hitting. I think it landed on the wrong side of the wood pile. So yeah. What's going to be really close? And now, oh, Pronax gets the kill on Neo. Nice start. That's what they needed. Al. Yeah, I mean, Neo taking quite a big risk jumping in through that window. If there is a guy watching it, it's really difficult to kill him before he kills you because his cross is in the right place. Yeah, it and whereas really is. you're going into a room where they've got a 180 degree angle on you, so balls of steel from Neo, and it might cost ESC a little bit here. Yeah, you're right. It, it well might. I mean, Neo he's been doing really well, forgetting to show the score, but he's actually six and one, and um, so definitely one of their top players, and basically one of the best players I think in the world. Um, and the more practice that uh, ESC get, the more it's going to show. So what? Yes, see, they've decided that uh, that A bomb site is basically not where they want to go. They have only 25 seconds left. Albert, this is going to be incredibly close. If they try and make this now, it's really going to be down to the wire because the time is ticking. Look at this Cuban actually fighting it out with Sneal. He gets dropped, and now that means that they're free to rotate to this bomb site. 10 seconds left now, but they are going for it, which means that, you know. Look at this, he wants to plan, but he can't. Oh, Did it with two kills and RDL with another RDL. one. Oh, look at that. You actually saw an ESC player, I don't know who it was, but he actually jumped up with the bomb in hand instead of a rifle because the, <laughs> there was so little time left. But uh, AL just not uh, not going for it. And I, I think we've seen that a few times before where teams actually, they run out of time. And I think, I mean, I understand the, the need to try and, and make something of the round. But maybe it's better to just save your guns. I mean, if you if you have 10 seconds to plant in, and there are people defending the site, it's almost impossible. <laughs> and um, did a really aggressive up on Banana, actually taking down Pasha. What a nice start. Al making the first steps here, but Lord taking down Dennis quickly, and Taz with a kill onto Pronax. What? How on earth did he get him? He was in the apartments. He shot through that tiny, tiny window. So ESC bringing it right back. Sneal taking down Lord. Nice. Oh wow! Another quick headshot from Sneal, but he gets taken down by Neo in the end. It is two on two, but look at how Lulid it is. He gets the kill anyway. So impressive. Now it's a one on one, and RDL he really, really wants this. And if he waits until Neo it's starts planting, he will definitely. It's going be so early. Oh, oh, Neo brings him down. He didn't believe. need to go. He could have waited. Oh my god. He didn't, but at the same time, I think you heard the flashes that Neo were throwing out. Like, you heard the grenades, and you thought that maybe yeah. he would get him while he was just throwing one of them. And it, I, from my, from what I was looking, it definitely looked like he could have, but then Neo being Neo, just uh, headshotting him, and now, wow, 10 rounds behind our absolute legends. They need to take, you know, 10 rounds in a row to even push it to overtime. And ESC, they just need one more round and then they are going to be ready for the next match. Which we're also casting after this one, which is also ESC gaming against very games. That's going to be fucking cool. Now, Dennis making sure that won't happen too soon, taking down Lord, but actually Pasha getting RDL. We've got some for Masters, so AL, they're not looking too good on the economic side at the moment. They're definitely not. They need a 10 round sweep. And then they have to win in overtime, would be crazy. I mean, it definitely would be impressive if they could pull off something like that. Neo actually 9-1 and one, um, after taking that one death, so... <laughs> really on fire. And now actually coming in, trading evenly. Pasha with another kill though. And now Sneal, wow, taking down Neo with a nice headshot. But the bomb is planted, and that's not it's not always easy to get into that B bomb site. Um, and they have some flashes actually on, um, so they might be able to do it. Look at that Pronax flashing over and trying to make his way in there, but look up on the coils, and he's gonna get shot through that smoke so much. Flashing, and he's making so much noise that they probably know exactly where he's. Oh wow, taking down Pasha. Oh wow, go on, Pronax. Can he get Cuban? Cuban? Oh. Time is definitely oh, running out. Oh no, my. he can't do it. He got the headshot That's on the Cuban. Game. He dropped him down to 6 HP. That was a jumping headshot on Cuban. We just survived. And you're right, that is the victory for ESC. They get the, the whole game 16 to 5 up against Absolute Legends. And uh, pretty impressive uh, display of force coming out from ESC. And now. That's exactly what they need because they need all the momentum that they can get when they're going to be playing very games in the next. 
I don't know. The the match should start pretty soon. So um, yeah, it will literally be.